this is Batman. You're watching Kyle Reviewed. Hey guys, just finished watching Batwoman Season 1, Episode 10. How queer everything is today. Um, <laughs> holy shit. This was a terrible episode. Oh my god. Now, I get this whole thing that they were trying to do. They were, you know, Batwoman revealing herself as, as being lesbian and all that stuff. And I get, cool, great story. Of course, they're going to do that with this character, right, in today's day and age. But the way they went around of doing this was so bad. The villain of this episode, um, so terrible. So it turns out, you know, they have this idea. It, it's, it's like this this writing room had, like, two different ideas that they went they put up. One was, like, oh, let's have Batwoman stop at speeding train. Oh, oh, let the, the, the villain be a young ch uh, high school who she could re who you know who's gay and stuff and do that cool but the train and that storyline doesn't really work because first of all you have batwoman trying to stop a train which is kind of like very kind of stupid the way it, she stopped the train by shooting a grapple hook through the door that's just gonna rip off like that's kind of silly now if she had a full-on batmobile that she could kind of push together with multiple grappling hooks or you know push the front of it type thing then that could have been something cool but they don't have anywhere near the budget for something like that so uh, you know if she had a, some sort of a big big bat big uh, uh car like a, like a batmobile like the tumbler or something like that from the nolan movies that would make more sense but this doesn't make sense it's just a little uh, you know, motorcycle and stuff. So that was kind of silly there. Um, uh, you know, so I like the her that her reveal at the end of the episode was kind of involved with Catco. I hope we get that little bit over on Supergirl since that aired after. Maybe we get Carl getting an email, giving a text. Hey, I got a story for you, you know? And it just, you know, get, getting a, a text or her phone rings and it's just, oh, you know what? I got a story for you, right? It would be cool if they could just send some audio and it's just, you know, you hear Kate Kane, I got a story for you, Kara, uh, you know, type thing or something. It would be really cool to see that. Hopefully we do see that. I haven't watched this week's episode of Supergirl yet. But the idea of this young high school student just kind of hacking the the all of the city and hacking everything is just so stupid because it makes no sense. First of all, someone who could hack that well would not be, uh, you know, would not be just in high school like that. You know, they would be, a, it'd be in the top school everywhere. They would be, you know... She should be running a company already or something like that. She'd be somewhere out there. She wouldn't just be in a regular high school like it was. So that just seemed to kind of a bit silly. Why would it be, why would it someone that smart or, or genius um, at that age, you know, be there? She would already be all over the place. She'd be all, all over the world, you know, uh, doing stuff. So that just kind of makes no sense to having a, 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 a student be able to do that and hack all that stuff. So that was just kind of silly the way they did. Um, and then the whole scene where, where you had, you know, Alice had uh, ha had the, the uh, you know, the shop tool and stuff. It's about to hurt her and all that stuff. And that was just really kind of un, uh, uh, like, they didn't really try or any uh, unoriginal with her just trying to, using the, 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 the circular saw as a weapon, you know. Um, and she was just kind of looking, holding it close. She didn't have her, like, h hold her really close, have the circular claw really close, circular saw super close, you know. It just looked kind of fake. Um, it didn't look like they got close enough to her to be even threatening at all. Um, it would have been funny. It would have been cooler just have her, you know, maybe she had her head uh, on a, a table saw, you know, when she was getting her close to it. That could have been really cool. It's kind of threatening and stuff. Um, you know, there just could have been so much more... Um, you know, creative stuff than just this power tool, this, this little thing with a whole, you know, wood shop worth of uh, tools to, to be done. And then the idea that Kate Kane would just come in and just walk in and just sit there and talk and all that stuff. Batman would never do anything, any shit like that. He would have it all. He, he'd pre-plan it, you know, he'd go in there and he would, you know, not just walk in there, blah, 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 no, no idea. He would Look at, get in there from afar, get an idea of what's going on, and then assess the situation before going in. I think that's something that Oliver, you know, explained to Barry back in the first crossover, like the Brave and the Bold crossover when they first teamed up, you know. Um, and Barry didn't, you know, check his situation. And that's why, you know, and I think in the first very crossover when, I think, was it Rainbow Rider ends up turning Barry against Oliver and controlling him because he didn't case his situation before going into it. And that's what she should have done here. She should have cased the situation, figured out what was going on, um, and then, you know, got into the rafters and taken her out by surprise, you know, throwing a batarang at her, uh, you know, knocking the thing out of her hand, end of story, there's no more threat, never had to reveal her mask type thing. That was just kind of silly. She would even do that. And the stakes didn't seem like they were really at the point where she's going to reveal herself, you know. Uh, it was just kind of terrible writing for this, this episode. Uh, and it just kind of pisses me off. This whole episode was kind of stupid. 
The ending, though, that revealing that crisis changed everything and, you know, Beth and and and, uh, and Alice are separated are different people now. They're, they're, they're separate, uh, you know, entities. That is going to be cool. So I definitely can't wait to see as to where things go with this. And I hope that there's going to be multiple things like that on all the shows. Um, I mean, probably not all brought Arrow with since that only has two more episodes and we're, we're done. But, uh, you know, having a lot of things like that kind of going forward could be something interesting to play with. And maybe people kind of convenient and talking about that at some point could be interesting to see as to where things kind of go. So I definitely can't wait to see as to how things kind of go with all this. So, yeah, the follow-up of this episode, sure, I love the idea of that. But just the writing in this episode was so shit, so terrible, um, so garbage. It's just kind of like so bad. You know, it made no sense as to any of this stuff. Um, it's the whole, the whole thing around this, just this, you know, high school or, you know, hacking stuff was just kind of stupid. Um, I get the idea that they were going to do, but there could have been uh, so many different ways, so many more creative ways. This was just so lazy writing. So just garbage, just a shit episode. So let me know what you think guys about this in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to just skip this episode if you haven't watched it. See you in the next video. Peace. Hi, this is Kevin Conroy talking to you from the library of Wayne Manor. You may know me as Batman. I just want you to know that you're watching Kyle Reviewed. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman.